in love with our little fall room. However, it is a little small for today's video. Oh yeah, we made a room extension, but the wallpaper doesn't match. Good thing it's magnetic wallpaper. Bam! Add a rug and a dresser. Move some of the art around and we're ready to go. What's up doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs and besties? While waiting for my Monster High dolls to arrive, let's look at a few things I've picked up on Amazon, like Lulu Pop. I was searching around Amazon and this doll popped up. So I went to their Amazon store and learned that these are K-pop fashion dolls. In the description on Amazon, it says, Introducing the most famous K-pop idol, Lulu Pop Daisy, Ileana, Bella, Tanya, and Ella. The dolls were $35 each, and they also come as minis. This is Lulu Pop Mini Daisy, and this was $25 each. I was curious, so I got a few. And you all have been asking for more K-pop, so here it is. We have a plastic case. Um, how does it open? Oh, there we go. Cool. Oh, it's a little stage. Let's take out whatever's inside. We can see the whole stage. It says Lulu Pop. There were five packages inside. There's a collector's guide showing all of the available dolls, a character card. In the first little bag, we have clothes. Oh, wow. These look about the size of an LOL surprise. Little plastic clothes that wrap around the figure and they just open up. We have a little tiny plastic body form here and a tiny pair of shoes with painted laces. This is probably the doll. Yep. Ooh, and it has rooted hair. Is it dressed? Oh yeah, okay, it's wearing a bathing suit. Or undergarments. The hair is rooted. It's pretty neat and soft. We have some large eyes, articulation at the head, shoulder, and hip. Let's get the doll dressed to complete her look. I have another bag. And inside here we have heart sunglasses that fit into holes on the back of the head, little earrings, and a purse. In the last bag, we have a little stand for the stage. It just holds on to their feet and there are three spots on the stage for it to go. We've seen something similar before. She also comes with a tablet that has a hook in the back so she can hold it, headphones, and a microphone because she is a K-pop star. And we can set the stage so she can perform. Compared to an LOL surprise doll, the Lulu Pop doll is a little taller. LOL surprise clothes are a little big on Lulu Pop, and Lulu Pop clothes are a little too small on LOL surprise. My second one comes in a similar case. Ooh, but the inside's a different color. So we get a little variety there. Here's the character card, and this is the doll. She has a different skin tone than our first doll. Unfortunately, it looks like her eyes are printed off just a little. She comes with a pink shirt, a skirt with a ruffle, has printed fishnet stockings, and blue shoes. She has a tiara headband, earrings, and a heart purse. She also has what looks like an amp, a standing microphone, a little foot bracket, and a handheld microphone. I guess she likes options. Okay, well, let's move on to bigger dolls. Here is Tanya on pronouncenames.com. Some people said it was Tania. The doll comes fully dressed. We can see all of the accessories on the side. There is a doll stand. The doll comes with fabric fashion, a red and black top with mesh sleeves and faux buttons, and a plaid skirt with lace and black at the top. She has straight blonde hair. There are two braids in it. She comes with a satin hat, 
very large eyes. The doll stands a little over nine inches tall, not including the doll stand, comparable to an OMG doll. The head can pivot on the neck. The doll can rotate at the arm, go out to the side. It also has a joint at the elbow, if I can figure out which way it bends. There we go. Rotation at the wrist and the hand can go up and down. This doll has a bend and snap knee or a click knee. She comes with tall boots that are black and red, gold colored earrings, sunglasses to go with her outfit, and a red plastic purse with yellow painted details. She comes with a hanger and a hairbrush. And I want to say, these two are the same character. I am partial to larger dolls. Here is Lulu Pop Daisy Ella. Her doll stand is kind of a pinky orangey color. Just like her mini, her hair is styled with two buttons on top. She has glitter eyeshadow, brown curly hair with a braid. Now her hair is pretty soft. She wears a one shoulder long sleeve hot pink top with a chain on the other side and a tulle bow. She has a small piece of lace around the neck, a metallic skirt with a black belt, and a silver buckle. The belt is a faux leather and it is sewn to the skirt. The skirt is lined with a pink tulle. She wears black thigh-high stockings, comes with sunglasses, pink heels, a gold-colored bracelet, a pink and black plastic purse, and gold-colored earrings. Almost forgot, she also has a brush and a hanger. At $35 a piece, I think that's gonna be my Lulu Pop collection. I'm always searching Amazon for gowns, and I found a new one from Korigu. This one is purple. It has a very interesting top. Here it is on Mini Toya. What do you think? It could be perfect for like a masquerade ball. This dress was $14.99, and it's definitely a conversation starter. This was also $14.99, and it says that it comes with two dresses. Each dress is individually packaged. This is a stiff piece of elastic and two layers of netting. Oh boy, is it tight. I had some trouble getting it on. The skirt is pretty long. This might be nice on a tall Barbie. With this black elastic, I am a little concerned about staining, but then again, I'm always concerned about staining. I might be a little paranoid. Yeah, I'm gonna go try the other dress. I don't know, does this, is this fitting right? The skirt is the same tulle. It's very long. We have kind of a little train. The pink lace on the top isn't really the same shade of pink as the skirt. And we have some loose threads. $14.99 for two dresses, making each dress $7.50. Let's try the other one. Cause I bought them in white too. Here is the black elastic dress with white tulle at the bottom. Now I do like the style of this dress. I just wish the top was a little easier to get on. The second dress is all white. It is totally a wedding dress. The lace at the top matches the tulle at the bottom, only the bottom is a little see-through. It looks like four layers of tulle or netting and it has a very long train. And I'm not mad about that. It even comes with some extra tool for a veil, I assume. I like this one. I just might need a slip to go under it. Don't we have a wedding coming up on Summer and Cali? This is the Emods Gaming Retro Games console. It was $31 and I saw two colors, turquoise and wood. For some reason I got turquoise. Probably should have gone with wood. I was hoping we could use this as a working TV for the dollhouse. You know how I love my mini TVs. This is battery operated and here's a little on switch. Does it work? It does. And that's a pretty good picture. Let's make sure it doesn't have legs because I got fussed at in my last video. We're good. All right, we're going to add this little 
antenna here. I don't think it actually works. We have a game controller that did not come with batteries. All right, now we're good. So I'm gonna go start. Oh, sweet. Oh, wow, there's a lot of different games. Let's just go with Super Mario. Yeah, let's pick that one. Wait, what do I press? All right, I just went with B. Ooh, it worked. And start, go. Oh my goodness, we're actually playing. Oh, and I, wow, game over. All right, let's try this again. That's how you jump. Oh, I think I have to get a running start here because I'm little. Oh man, I was trying to time it so I could jump on his head. That was a fail. Okay, here we go. Jump, jump, no, <laughs> I should just stop now. But it's a working mini TV that has video games loaded onto it. We have a color screen. It'll work great in the dollhouse. Up next, we have 18 vases and 50 dried flowers. I don't need the dried flowers. I'm mainly here for the vases. This was $11.99. And yeah, I'm not gonna open that. Oh, well, they're just like wrapped in uh, paper towels. Well, some of them were, and some of them are broken. These are glass. We have two large vases here. Here are three more. They were not wrapped. So far, it looks like we're getting sets of two. Oh, these are nice. Here are two square vases. So far, they have all been glass, and for the most part, they're actually kind of nice. These are like the last one. They just have a little added base. And my last two have like a little ruffle edge at the top. I was supposed to have 18, but I ended up with 17 because one broke. Since these are glass, we will have to be careful with them so we don't break stuff in the dollhouse. And what about that little guy? Our newest little puppy is from Toy Mini. I got this box of French Bulldogs for $14.99. There are six little sleeping pups in two positions. They're all painted a little different. However, these two look like they could be the same dog. So we can lay them on the floor in our dollhouse and switch them out to look like the dog has changed positions. I think they are pretty cute. They are a great size for my dollhouse and they are finished all the way around. I just wish that they all came in matching pairs. There was another set for $15.99 these were labeled as British Bulldogs. Again, we have two positions and these are almost in pairs. This one has a brown paw and that one has a white paw and that one has more white on its face than this one. Now, these two look pretty close. These two look kind of close, but they also look a little different. Six dogs for $15.99 each makes them about $2.66, cents each. And the French Bulldogs are about $2.50 each. I think these are adorable and you'll definitely see them around the dollhouse. So there you have it, my latest finds on Amazon. The retro TV with the video games and the pups are my favorites for the day. Let us know if anything caught your eye in the comments down below. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at a few things from Amazon. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time.